Hello everyone. Today we are looking at 3D shapes and we're going to go on a bit of an adventure around the house to see if we can find 3D shapes in just the normal things we have around us. Now before we do that I think we need to have a bit of a refresh on what a 3D shape is and we can look at some of the 3D shapes that you might be able to find in your house. So first of all what is a 3D shape? A 3D shape is a solid shape that has three dimensions. Length, width and height. Now I just so happen to have a very handy 3D object in my pocket. This is called a Rubik's Cube and I'm sure lots of you have seen these around. And these Rubik's Cubes are a type of 3D shape. Now it's kind of given away in the name of it, but do you know what 3D shape this is? Yes, it is a cube and we can look at it and we can tell that it's a 3D shape because it has length, it has width and it has height. So thank you, this is a very handy thing to have. Now what makes a 3D shape a 3D shape are three different things as well as the length, width and the height. It's got some other bits to it. Each 3D shape has faces, one or more faces, which is a flat or a curved surface. So this is a face, this is a face, this is a face, this is a face, this is a face. So a cube has lots of different faces. Should we count them together? Ooh, try and keep count. One, two, three, four, five, six. So a cube has six faces. Now an edge on a 3D shape is where two of the faces meet. So you can see the orange face and the yellow face are meeting together right here on this line, which is the edge. So let's count how many edges this has. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So a cube has twelve edges. And then the third thing that makes it a 3D object or a 3D shape is it has a vertices, which is a corner where all the edges meet. So here are some different edges coming together to meet at the vertice. So let's count how many there are. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So a cube has eight vertices. Can you remember how many faces a cube has? Can you remember how many edges a cube has? And can you remember how many vertices a cube has? If you want to, you can go back and watch that part again, or maybe you have a cube in your house, maybe you even have a Rubik's cube that you could count up all these things. We've had a look at this, let me put it back in my pocket, and it's time for you to start doing some drawing. You're going to be drawing some of these 3D shapes. I'm not going to be showing you all the 3D shapes, just some of them. And when you draw them on your piece of paper, whiteboard, wherever you want to, make sure you label them with the name. We're going to be using that later. So I'm going to put the different shapes up on the screen. Firstly, we have a cube, which we're just looking at. A cube over here. Make sure you can pause, remember, and you can draw it and write the name. Secondly, we have a cuboid. So, Again, pause the video, write the title. Then we have a sphere, which looks like a ball. Make sure you can draw this. This one's a bit trickier to draw. I'm not asking for you to be perfect artists, just try your best. So draw the shape and label the shape. Then we have a square based pyramid. This one might be a bit trickier to find in your house, but I thought we'd give it a go. So it's got a square on the bottom and then all the faces meet at one vertices. Then we have a cylinder, 
Now I'm sure you'll be able to find something that is a cylinder shape in your house. What I want you to do is if you find or when you're drawing these different shapes, you can look to see how many faces, how many vertices and how many edges each shape has. We're not going to do that all together now because we're going to do that in another video when we can look at shapes a little bit closer and you can all help me out with that. But that will be in another video. What we're doing today is just going on an adventure to see if we can find these shapes in our house. So activity time. I want you, once you've drawn and labeled all of your shapes, there should be five of them, you're going to use that to walk around the house and if you see something that is the same shape as one of the shapes on your piece of paper, I want you to put a little tick underneath that shape. And I want you to see how many of each of these 3D shapes you can find in your house. I have a guess that the most popular shape will be a cylinder. What do you think? Have a think about what shape you think you're going to find most common in your house. And I think maybe the one that might be the least common will be a square based pyramid. But who knows? We've all got different things in our houses, so you might find lots of them in your house. So we can go on a little adventure in this lounge here to try and find these different shapes. Come along. Okay, let's see how many of those 3D shapes we can find in this lounge around me. What can we see? Oh, I've already found one. Another Rubik's Cube. What 3D shape is this? Yes, it is a cube. Let's see if they all fit in my pocket. All right, what else can we see? <gasps> oh, I found something. <laughs> what is it? Oh, green tea, delicious. Do you know what 3D shape this is? Yes, it is a cylinder. Perfect. Oh, that fits. What else? Oh, what's this here? is a book. And I think we could say that this is pretty close to being a cuboid. Correct. All right, let's try and fit that in my other pocket. All right, my pockets are getting heavy. Ooh. Oh, look what I found. An orange. Now, it's probably not a perfect example of this 3D shape, but it's probably the closest we're going to find. What 3D shape do you think this is? Yes, it's a sphere. All right. Oh, goodness. All right, what else can I find? Oh, look. What's this? It's my sunglasses case. And it is the shape of a, yes, a cuboid. Well done. Anything else? Oh, I think this might be the last one. A box full of tea. What shape do you think this is? Yes, it is a cube. Correct. Okay, now that I've found these 3D shapes in my lounge, maybe it's time for you to go and see how many 3D shapes you can find in your whole house. You'll notice that I didn't find a square based pyramid. That's okay, I might keep looking. That might be a tricky one for me to find. But like I said before, you might have lots of them in your house. Now, before you go, I just want to remind you that I've got lots of videos that can help you with your distance learning or your learning from home. And make sure you tell your friends about it as well, just so we're all helping out each other. Now, I'm going to go and eat this sphere, I mean orange, and I'll see you guys soon. 